Hello guys, welcome to Pokemon Kronos, a fan game made by my favorite Ormin Ormidi. Um, now this guy is also referred to as Fakemon123. He created Pokemon Twilight, which I really loved playing. But, um, I think it was maybe last year or maybe less. It was a super fun fan game with, you know, like an older art style, but it was super fun and like a brand new game. Um, so when I saw Pokemon Kronos on his Twitter, I was like, I have to play this. So just for some context, if you guys didn't know, this is for um, the Relic Castle Game Jam number four. Um, I always love checking it up when it happens because, you know, there's plenty of new fan games with plenty of new ideas for, you know, us uh, YouTubers to check out and play. Now, I'm going to turn this down just a little bit so I'm not dying in the air at any time or any point. Um... This should be it. I don't like switching too much else. But let's go straight into the game. I want to keep these episodes short and quick. Okay, I have really I didn't read up on the information, so I, this is all new to me. I need to get out of here before they find. There you are. Where do you think you are going? Going. I need to make it to the time stone. There's no time for that. I'll use the last of my time energy to save us. Celebi, you can thank me later. Now let's go. What the heck? Grr, they got away. Hades will not pa please will not be pleased with me. Ooh, Hades. I think that's like the god of something bad. It's like a Greek god. So this is Athenian city in the past, huh? Ah, oh, this is Greek themed, huh? It's so peaceful. This is really pretty though, actually. It's a pretty game. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. You don't look like you're from around here. I'm Alexander, an archaeologist who lives here in Athenian city. Who are you? Ooh, I am... <laughs> Let's go with Daniel. Daniel. Awesome. And if you guys are new to my channel, don't... Uh, feel free to... Uh, subscribe to the channel and join the Dan fam because you know why not it's we have a lot of fun here we play different games you know there's not too many restrictions on what I do so it's plenty of fun sorry Daniel yes I am nice to meet you Daniel let's talk about let's text talk some more up my lap and sorry guys I'm a little rusty because I have not recorded a video in a while so this YouTube thing kind of got out of my head for a little bit it's kind of hard to talk what you're telling me that you're from the future uh, so I get to decide if I tell him. I'll just say yes, why not? You ex expect him to actually believe you? I'm Celebi, Daniel's partner. The mythical Pokemon Celebi is your partner? Yup, and Daniel here invented the time cuff, a bracelet used to travel through time. He had my help, of course, Teehee. But you said you were running away from some evil organization. Alright, oh, Team Zeta. Funny story, Daniel used to be the lead scientist at the third and third admin of Team Zeta. That is, until he found out that their goal was to eliminate any people and Pokemon throughout history that they deemed unworthy. How terrible. Exactly, that's why we got, a, we got, out, we got out of there in a hurry. Well, you came to the right place, or time. You see, I've been doing some research on the ruins up on uh, Mount Olympia. It turns out that the legendary Pokemon Diagla uh, slumbers in the depths of, the Mount, in my, of Mount Olympia. Diagla? Yes, the legendary Pokemon, set to control time itself. What's more is, it is said that who, whoever wakes, awakens Diagla will be granted the power to freely manipulate any moment in history. That must be what Team Zeta is after. Daniel, we have to stop them. Just wait, I wasn't finished talking yet. In order to awaken Diagla, one must first awaken the three Lake Guardians, of course. Lake Guardians? But there are no lakes in the Olympia region. Not above ground, but below three temples, there are three lakes. One of them is here in Athenia City. It lies under the tomb of Yuxi. Oh, that's the building we saw you walk out of today, right? Yes, and I was studying the statue that it is inside. The statue states that one's knowledge must be worthy of Yuxi to progress to the lake. But I can't figure out how. Someone can prove that. Well, why don't you let us take you take a look at it? Come on, Daniel. What are you waiting for? Let's head to the tomb of Yuxi. 
Here in the past, we have inns where you can heal your Pokemon. How convenient. Uh, it's just funny how, like, that's basically the Pokemon Center, I'm pretty sure. There are buildings with signs in front of them. You can also buy items there. Speaking of items, don't forget to take some Pokeballs. Wait, he gave us Pokeballs? Why? The Tomb of Uxie is the building I came out of earlier. It's, it's just uh, northwest of the lab. Then let's head out as soon as we can. So now we can walk. Can I run? No, I can't. Can I check my sh stuff? I have a Celebi level 30. Interesting. And it's a shiny. Very cool. And some good moves, actually. I feel like we could read some books. Because there... I'm sure... I, I'm sure, uh... Fakimon adds a lot of cool, uh... Little... Things here and there. Because he, he's a good... Fan game maker. Creator. Alright, now we're on auto run. Celebi! Oh, that's a time statue. It gives me the power to travel through time. Since we are able to get a time burst from team, team Zeta, we can use these to chase them through time. But not right now. Let's get a move on. So what was this called? This place. Athenian Labs. Alright. Interesting. Can't run, so that's annoying. Yeah, this city is definitely pretty. Very pretty. It reminds me of that home city that's kind of similar to Greece. Haha, uh, you'll never catch me. Alright, and actually, I doubt it's very important text right over there. There's gotta be a secret Pokeball here, right? Yes, there is. <laughs> Always. <gasps> leftovers? Oh my god. What's it with me and finding leftovers every fan game I play? God, uh, when I played the Pokemon Phoenix Rising, I love how I found the infinite um, leftovers. You know, I had to make a video about it instantly, too. Where, I don't even know where I'm heading. I think it's a temple. What's this? It's not every day someone pays to visit. Please forgive me, for I'm not able to treat my guests with a cup of tea, but I have some something for your Pokemon. Two rare candies. Interesting. Alright, gotta check the... It's, it's always a habit. You have to check the trash can. But I feel like there's only been one Pokemon game that's actually put something in a trash can. I think it was like Pokemon white and black and white. <laughs> Another old man? Would you like to hear an old man's tale? Yes. Well, I'm not from Olympia region. I was sent here by mysterious power. The region I came from was a region with only four small islands. And it was plagued by twilight. <gasps> Ooh. I think that has a reference to uh, Ori, Ori uh, Midi's last game, Pokemon Twilight. So let's hear it out. I went out to save it from, the, from an evil organization, but I was too late. They had already summoned Darkrai. And as a result, I was sent to the Olympia region. Now that you've heard my tale, you will be able to receive a mystery gift. Oh, you say you're a time traveler? Ha! Like you expect me to believe that. Wait, mystery gift? Um... Don't mind if I do, I need a mystery gift. I, I'll get that... I'll get that next episode. Okay, you can walk through those. I don't really know where I'm going. The city's really big. It's already, already been eight minutes. I'm trying to do short episodes. Evolution Square. All right. Evolution Square, interesting. I like how Celebi walks around though, it's funny. Flies around, I guess. A little girl always claims to see oddly colored Pokemon. Like now she's telling me everyone, she saw a red Gyarados. What next, a golden Magikarp? Uh, like as if that's possible. Um, let's see who this is. You're a friend of Alexander. I see. Then please take this. It might come in handy. Super potion. Interesting. Yeah, we're just getting a bunch of fun items, so that's really cool. My brother Alexander is a well-respected philosopher in this region. I wonder if he's based off of a real person. Hmm. Oh, that's connected. Interesting. Can I not go here? Okay. Did I miss anything down here? I feel like I might have. Guess not really. There are some shores and stuff. But, oh! Wait, what? I'm a psychic who has the ability to access a PC system in the future. Okay. 
<laughs> Buy, sell, alright. Very interesting way of approaching this. Great job, Hori. Oh my god. Hello, welcome to the Athenian Inn. Would you like to rest? Nah. But thanks, well now we know we can rest here though. Let's see who else is here. These beds are sure, sure do feel nice on my old bones. Little girl. I love sleeping at the inns around Olympa. It's like a little remix or something. Yeah, I also like the music. It's always fun. Because, you know, the creators want to add their own unique music to these. So it's nice to hear it. I don't know if I was supposed to go there, but... We'll check it out later. I guess we can only go straight, so let's do that. Oh, uh, is that the temple? Probably is. What is this, a route? Are these berry bushes? Oh no, they're not. Well, like, I'm sure they are, but you can't really pick anything up off. Also, I haven't seen any grass, so like, I don't know if... I am supposed to catch Pokemon at some point, but I haven't at, at this point done it. I just come to this place to relax. Okay, I'm not gonna try to go too far, because it's just a lot of sidetracking and wasting time, and you know, your guys' time for watching this. Watching this. But it's definitely a really nice map, so we will explore it. And we can, oh my god, what did I do? I always seem to do a lot of things like that and get stuck in places. <laughs> Miracle Seed. Alright. So we have basically two items that are really useful for Celebi and I gave him none of them. <laughs> yeah, I might give him leftovers. I just want to see, like, are the Pokemon hard right now for me to battle or they're, like, pretty easy? Okay. So we do have to go this way. Let's go in. See what's going on. Speak to this. There's a writing here. It says, Thou shall only pass if they... If thy knowledge is proven worthy of Yuxi. Really? That was a puzzle? <laughs> Alright. There's a writing, it says thou shalt only... Oh, there's a door in the back. Oh, you changed colors? Well, at least you should have made purple the first color, not yellow. Alright, so we are in this cave, but I will end the episode off here. Just for making these episodes a lot shorter and quicker. So, you know, have more content to give every day, but also just like, you know, you guys aren't overfilled with all this. So, next episode, we'll come check this out. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you... Enjoy by leaving that like button and make sure to subscribe to join the Dan fam. See you guys later. Peace.